At first glance, the futures pricing in the U.S. Treasury bonds and notes can look different than what you might be used to seeing in other futures contracts. Unlike most futures products, both notes and bonds are priced in fractions, not decimals. Let's discuss the pricing subtleties for the three more popular interest rate futures, the 30-year bonds, 5-year notes, and 10-year notes. Bonds are interest rate futures with a maturity of greater than 10 years. They are priced in terms of cost per face value. A contract like the 30-year bond futures, ZB, is worth 1,000 per point. They are priced based on a face value of 100 points for a total value of $100,000. The ZB contract is priced in full points and 1 32nd of a point. Each tick is worth 1 32nd of a point, or $31.25. This means that if the ZB contract moves from 150 to 151, the trader will have made or lost $31.25 times 32 ticks, which equals $1,000. Here is a trading example. Let's say the ZB contract is trading for 150 and 26 30 seconds. The calculation to determine the decimal value of the fraction in this case is 26 divided by 32, which equals 0.8125. Next, add the decimal amount to the whole number of points, in this case, 150 plus 0.8125. Now we have a quoted price in decimal, which is 150.8125. U.S. Treasury notes, which have maturities between 2 and 10 years, are priced similarly to the bonds, but they have subtle differences. The differences lie in the minimum tick value of the contracts. The 10-year, for example, trades in points and halves of 30 seconds of a point. On a trading depth of market, you would see the following. 124, 12, 30 seconds. 124, 12 and a half, 30 seconds. 124 13 30 seconds. The third digit after the apostrophe represents the half of a 30 second of a point. Half of a 30 second equals 0.50 is listed as 5. For example, 124 12 and a half 30 seconds equals 124 and 12.5 32 seconds or 124.390625. The five year trades slightly differently in points and quarters of 32 seconds of a point. The quarters of a point are represented in decimal, omitting the second digit of the decimal. One quarter equaling 0.25, which is listed as 2. Two fourths equals 0.50, is listed as 5. And three fourths equals 0.75, is listed as 7. For example, on a trading depth of market, you would see 124, 12, 30 seconds, 124, 12 and a quarter, 30 seconds, 124, 12 and a half, 30 seconds, 124, 12 and three quarter, 30 seconds, 124, 13, 30 seconds. The third digit after the apostrophe in the five year represents the quarter of a 30 second of a point. For example, 124, 12 and three quarter, 30 second equals 124 and 12.75, 30 seconds, or 124.3984375. Traders involved in trading these interest rate products should be aware that each one has a different tick value and tick size. All contract specifications for each contract are listed on the CME website. Once you understand the pricing of the interest rate product you are trading, you will see that the price is as easy to follow as other futures contracts.